obviously at 45 to 29, um, about the men to go in the second, uh, the second quarter, there's a fair bit of work to do. Um, what do you feel like changed between that moment and, and the end of the game that, that resulted in that turnaround? Defense and rebounding. I just think uh, we, we still we struggled all night offensively, really. Um, and uh, we're, we're kind of in a situation going through change, not having Jalen and playing a different way the last game, bringing Jalen in and trying to say we want to play like we did the last game. And, and it, it, was, it was clunky. It was a bit all over the place. But uh, we got back into the game because we defended and rebounded. Yeah, and obviously you know, 26 points conceded in that second half. Um, do, you, do you feel like obviously you know, Jordan Crawford was so good in that first half? Did you guys really target him as you know, you can stop him, you can potentially stop the whole team? Well, we flipped it and put, uh, we went after Doyle initially and then put Bull Qual on. Uh, he, 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 uh, Crawford. <clears throat> Crawford. He was tremendous, and I thought Bull did a great job on him in the second half. And uh, <clears throat> he was the one that was going. So, so that um, was a big one. That matchup was a big one. And so I'm not sure if it's the first time in Launceston. It's obviously a bit of a boutique, smaller uh, arena uh, with, a, with a bit of a, you know, quite a loud crowd for the amount of people that are here. What's it like playing Danny? Yeah, it's great. Um, whenever you come to Tasmania, you know the fans are going to come with the energy. Um, yeah, it was an absolute battle out there. That's what you really play for, these kind of intense battles. And yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, and I suppose, uh, what about the, the character of the group that's shown today um, when yeah, Tasmania obviously coming up a really bad loss the last time out, really took it to you guys and um, you know, forced a lot of turnovers and probably took you guys out of your game? I mean, that's what they do really well. They're one of the better defensive teams in the league. And I think in the first half, their physicality really disrupted our like, catches. We were getting the ca our catches too stretched out. Um, but I'm really, really proud of the boys, the way we grinded it out. Um, I think that championship teams win on their bad days, and it wasn't our best day today, and we figured out a way to grind it out. Um, big shout out to Quat. I think Quat was huge today. Not just his threes, but his defensive effort, the little things like that, and it was massive for him after he has been, I wouldn't say struggling, but not playing his best form. Yeah, you sort of mentioned that there's a bit like Prague. Getting those sort of wins on the road where it doesn't come easily against a team like Tasmania, um, what does that do for the, the fellas' confidence going for the rest of the year? No, it is, is <clears throat> excuse my voice, um, we saw the start of our season. I mean, it, it, when we play at home, we've been to Perth on the Friday and we've got the games are like that right now and we've been nothing but on the road. So trying to, and we were a new group, new coaching staff, a lot of new players. Um, we knew that any win we get now takes pressure off us down the back stretch. But as Xavier said, I mean, the bigger picture for us is you look at this team and the, I think they're the best over the last three years or four years of tenacity, toughness, teamship, all that, all that, that's their trademark. And to win a game against them on a court where they're desperate and they're 16 up um, at halftime or right, at, right before the end of the half um, is huge for us as this new group. And that's an area that we've targeted where we've got to get better and compete. So tonight, and, and the point it registered with our captain, and uh, that's the biggest thing we get out of this game. Um, as we've said prior, just um, really excited about that. And it's something we talked about leading into the weekend at, since the Adelaide game. I think we got exposed there. And as a group, coaching staffs included in all of this, you know, tightening up our game, trying to do our jobs better, and everyone lifting in the area that you're talking about. So um, playing at home on a second game um, after playing on Friday night and getting whopped and having no Jalen, um, that, was, that was huge. And now coming down here into a hornet's nest and uh, getting tested in the areas that you talked about and coming back and winning like that um, really um, is important long-term with our team. It's the anthill.
hornet's nest. <laughs> and ill, not hornet's nest. Thanks, Dave. Um, you touched on co-op earlier as well. I mean, we know how good a defender has always been capable of being, but he has just never been able to get it done. And that's been the big question it's the first thing we sat down and talked about You're exactly right again you know that there's an art to it's not just playing hard there's an art to the defensive player bull can become and uh, part of it is you know, how he uses his feet and his hands. And I think he's made some really good adjustments. He's not fouling in the backcourt. He's not fouling off the ball. He's not leaving his feet and fouling the shooter. And tonight, to play like he did on both of those guys and have one foul, not fouling out of the last game, are huge strides for him. And, and uh, you touched on Colette before as well, but you've got so many guys that can step up. I mean, Till his last quarter, especially he, he, some of the defensive plays he made and, and to, to get out and run. How much fun is it for you knowing that you've got, you've got 10, 11, 12 teammates that you can trust to come out and have a big impact on side people? I mean, you can tell by the way I play. I go out there and bust my tail and then call for a sub because I know the backup coming in is unbelievably talented and I can trust in them. Um, but I think that was the biggest thing about tonight's game is like the steals that Tui got, Bull got in that third quarter really switched the momentum for us and like we ran with it. Just a uh, closer, um, <clears throat> congratulations to Xavier for his 100th game as a king. I think, uh, and we've talked about last year and the struggles um, with um, the camaraderie as, as with the group, the toughness with the group. And I think the key in this is bringing Xavier back to our club. Um, the whole environment of our team on the day-to-day -day being a team has changed on his return outside of his tremendous ability as a basketball player. So congratulations. Appreciate it, Coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. We're out on that one. No more questions. <laughs>